Is credential and privilege management a job position unto itself, say in a big company, or is it part of other security positions? Um, I think it's, it's, it's both, right? Mm-hmm. So you have in, uh, on your, in security teams or even in, let's say your traditional IT team, everybody, you know, let's take Active Directory. Active Directory basically has users and accounts, passwords, groups. So that is a level of privilege access management because you can assign roles to users administrator, you know, schema admin, domain admin, yep. those type. So on the, I guess, basic or foundational level, you know, that is privileged access management. Um, for companies that are, you know, leveling up their program that do have a solution like, you know, ours, you know, Thakata Secret Server, um, yes, there, that absolutely is a discipline and demand for, um individuals who specialize in privilege access management um, and that's under identity and access management because those are kind of tied together now they're converging identity and access management and privilege access management because you 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 are you're assigning privilege to an identity <laughs> so yeah, those two yeah. will kind of kind of have to go hand in hand um so um corporations you know have privileged access management teams um consultants that deploy these solutions including you know uh Thakotic or you know any of uh i think the big four consultancies that are out there um you mentioned um uh, some of my previous work as a consultant you know mm-hmm. i was deploying privileged access management okay. solutions so yes absolutely uh discipline an industry their certifications um from vendors that that will you know get you trained up on that solution but is i look at it as the overall quiver uh you know arrow in the quiver to just make you a more well-rounded security you know right. individual okay all right so it's it, it, yeah like you say it really is both then you can you can do a whole, a whole meal out of it or you can just have it as a side dish yep <laughs> um so what type of person does well at at jobs like this are there particular sort of soft skills or traits that make people especially good at, at sort of understanding credential management? Um, I think you have to have a curious mindset and, but just a willingness to learn. So um, I think anybody can learn anything as long as they have a willingness to do so. And, um, but it's, um, I, I wouldn't say it, it fits any one personality or individual more than the other one um is is it heavily detail oriented or it it is heavily detail oriented um when you get into mapping attributes or defining roles that you know you may apply to a group of individuals the group may contain you know 100 people may contain 10,000 people um and how you deploy the solutions to maximize efficiency um so I, there is a level of uh, soft skill in there and being able to communicate and ask the right questions um, and then, you know, seek that feedback to make sure that you're, you know, in lockstep with, you know, your customer, whether that's your internal organization or you're working as a consultant uh, for, you know, an entity that brought you in to do this. Um, it's a lot of documentation. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, so the, the soft skilling is, I would say, probably as equally as important as the technical side of that, okay. which in IT is kind of a, a transition coming now to that anyway, as far as the documentation side. As, as things go to the cloud, they need to be documented because, you know, it's just somebody else's computer now, but you still need to, to document uh, where where that is and how it's been configured and set up. And that's one of the things that's also kind of been uh, highlighted during this time. People ask like, where's the document to do this? Where's the, you know, operating procedure for this? And right. a, lot of, a lot of times if you sit next to somebody, it's that tribal knowledge. It's like, hey man, can you help me out with this? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, so much of it is is is, is oral history or, or storytelling. Yeah. Right, right. And now th- this is a great time to work on that documentation. <laughs> New episodes of CyberWork are available every Monday at 1 p.m. Central. And don't forget to claim your free month of InfoSec skills. Sign up using the code CyberWork and you'll get unlimited access to hundreds of courses, hands-on labs, certification practice exams, skills assessments, and more. Use code CyberWork for InfoSec skills.